fireside chats with Linz. That's me! Hi guys! So we're actually uh, in my living room today. I don't really know why. I just kind of felt like filming in here. So hope you hope you don't mind. We're just chilling on the couch. Today I'm so I'm so excited. I don't think I've been this excited for a video in a very long time. This video is going to be my high school experience and tips video for you guys. I cannot wait to share it with you guys in my last video. So many of you said you wanted to see this. So that is what I'm doing today. I'm going to be talking to you guys about all of the four years that I went through of high school. I have some a few notes written on my phone, so if I'm like glancing down at my phone. I'm just trying to remember things that I wanted to say to you guys and wanted to mention. Four years of high school is a lot of things to remember. So if you're going to be a freshman this year, congrats, welcome, I promise you, don't be nervous. High school, the best thing about high school is that it's so much more freedom compared to middle school. Like in middle school, I feel like at least my middle school experience, there was no freedom. You were treated like a baby and high school is so much more freedom. It's so great and it's a lot better than middle school in my opinion. And so just look forward to it. Don't be dreading it all. Don't be nervous. You know, I feel like I can say that so many times and I still was nervous like going into freshman year. Don't be, I promise, you're, you're gonna be so fine. All right, so starting with freshman year, ninth grade. So the things I remember about freshman year is I remember the best part was meeting so many new friends from other middle schools flooding into my high school. It was so cool to meet all of those new friends, so that's definitely something to look forward to freshman year. Your friend groups might change from middle school, I mean maybe they'll stay the same, you'll meet new friends. Um, it's just, it's a really exciting time and it's super fun and I really remember loving that part about ninth grade, just bonding with new people. So don't be nervous, even if you're starting a new school, just the biggest advice I can give to you for freshman year is really just to try your hardest to be open and open to new friends, open to new things, and just have a positive attitude the best way you can. Don't be scared. Everyone kind of feels the same way that you do and you're going to bond with people, you're going to make friends, I promise, and it's, it's really the start of a very fun time in your life, I feel like. I remember freshman year being really fun. It's kind of like the easiest year of high school for most people, so that's a good part about it. Sorry, I'm talking a ton with my hands, I can't really help it. It's the easiest year of high school for a lot of people, you know, you might not have, you probably won't have any like AP classes. I had a decent amount of honors classes and things like that. This is something I'll talk about throughout the whole years of high school video. I took a lot of honors. I only took one AP class, but I took a ton of honors classes all throughout high school. And I've said this in another video, but for me, I don't know if I necessarily regret take. actually I do. I honestly, I don't know if this is like bad to tell you guys, but I honestly regret taking so many hard classes because I just remember spending so much time stressed about school, studying, just having so much homework compared to a lot of my other friends and I really didn't like it and I feel like I felt like I needed to try so hard to get into these like amazing colleges and then when college came around I kind of changed my whole mind and didn't even like need all of these classes to get into all of the schools that I applied to so that's just for me but obviously if you want to challenge yourself I wanted to challenge myself that's why I took a ton of honors classes then go for it but at the same time like don't overload yourself especially freshman year don't feel like you have to be taking AP and honors everything just take what you think is a good course load for you if you need to move down a level in a class or move up a level in a class do just what is best for you and what works best for your schedule because school isn't the only thing that you have to worry about in high school you know you have activities and your home life and everything like that so some things that i remember distinctly about freshman year is that i had braces all through freshman year i didn't get them off until the summer after freshman year so if you have braces and you're like oh my god i'm gonna be the only one you're not it's still so normal even i feel like 10th grade or however long it's 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 normal still to have braces so yeah I had my braces all throughout freshman year I'll see if I can find some photos I'm gonna try to insert some photos throughout this video so you guys can see my high school actual experience like some real-time photos as for activities and things like that it's all kind of up to you if you feel like you have time and you want to get involved in something I would say definitely try and find something that you can do with your time besides school just because I feel like a lot of my friends that didn't have anything to do were always kind of like bored and I never felt bored I, I was always doing something after school pretty much every single day I did dance all throughout my grade school I didn't do dance for my school my school didn't have dance I wish it did I would have loved to be on the dance team but I did dance at a local dance studio and I did dance uh, just like 
a few times a week, a few hours a week classes. And then for my school, I did cheerleading. I did it 8th, 9th, 10th, and 11th grade. I didn't do it senior year. And I absolutely loved cheerleading. I didn't do competition cheerleading, so I didn't have to do tumbling or anything like that. I never learned how to tumble or any of that. I just did basketball and football sideline cheerleading, but I loved it. I liked cheering for basketball so much more than football. So um, there was like a higher a higher squad than mine, but I didn't care because I really, really liked cheering for basketball. That was one of my best experiences of high school, you guys. I had so much fun. I'm talking so fast, I'm like losing my breath. <laughs> um, a bunch of my best friends were on the team, and I remember at least sophomore year and junior year, cheerleading was so much fun for me. I definitely think if you have, you know, a sport or an activity, it doesn't have to be a sport. It can be acting or a certain club. I really wasn't involved in many clubs. They just weren't I don't know, I feel like they weren't really my thing, no clubs really were calling my name, but um, I loved doing dance and cheer so much, so that is what I stuck with. So if you have some free time and you want to try something out, I would say definitely go out for some teams, join a club, do something with your time also that's going to look good on college applications. If you don't do anything in high school, that's not really going to look good, so at least try to do something. Also a couple memorable things that happened to me the end of freshman year were pretty much at the same time. I got my first job the very end of freshman year when I was 15. I worked at my mom's like place of business and I just kind of um, answered the phones, did laundry, cleaned, things like that. Like I was the receptionist but I was such a baby when I was doing it but they still hired me and I worked at that job for a year and I really, I really liked it. I learned so much from it and I think it was a really awesome first job to have so also I would say if you find yourself and you're like I, I mean I got a job because I needed money so if you find yourself needing money try and get a job and also right around that time is when I started my YouTube channel I started in April of 2010 so April of freshman year and that was when YouTube was not a big part of my life at all it was just starting out that's pretty much all I remember kind of from freshman year yeah. Okay, sophomore year. Sophomore year, I remember my classes got a lot harder. I remember doing a lot more studying, a lot more work. I feel like sometimes your parents kind of force you to be in the harder classes, so if that's a case for you, I promise just try to stick it out. You'll get through it. A lot of people do. I also remember sophomore year distinctly being a year where I kind of like opened up more to like boys. I mean, I always liked boys, but I never Throughout high school, I never had a serious relationship with a boy. I, I mean, I feel like I've told you guys that a few times. In high school, it worked out for me that I just kind of like talked to boys, had little things as we called them with boys. Like, I would get close with a few boys, not at the same time. I got close with like a few certain boys throughout my high school experience, but I was not the type of girl to always have a boyfriend, not at all. I had a best friend who literally always had a boyfriend. I was always kind of jealous of her. I was like, you always have a boyfriend, like I want that, I want boys to like me that much. Uh, it kind of bugged me, honestly, so if you feel, if you feel like that, just don't feel alone, honestly. Like, high school boys are just, most of them are not even worth your time. They're still growing up. Boys take a lot longer to grow up and mature, and I felt like I was more mature than like all the boys. And while I wanted a relationship and I wanted to like have a boy, I feel like none of them really at my school were the right ones for me. And it's okay. It's really okay. I'm not like, oh, I wish I had a high school sweetheart so bad. Like, it. There is so much beyond high school. Obviously, like you can have great relationships in high school, but that's not everything. So don't focus on that so much if you're like, oh, I want a boyfriend so bad. That's not the way to attract love. It's not how it's going to happen. It just happens when it happens. What else about sophomore year? I remember my friend groups kind of changing. Like every year, I feel like high school is a lot about friends just kind of coming and going. And it's not even that they go and like you're like, get out of my life. It's just kind of like you have different classes with certain people, certain people you see so much more. And I feel like the different years I was friends with different groups of people, but I kind of kept like the same small group of friends from like 10th, 11th, 12th. They're still my best friends. But I feel like it was a bit different, my middle school and ninth grade friends than like 10th grade on. So I think you just need to accept that that's going to kind of change, but obviously like keep your friendships with the people who are really important to you. But I had a friend that we would fight all the time 
Uh, it was either freshman year, I can't even remember, that's how like silly, I don't even remember what we fought about, I just remember we were like best friends and then we would fight and we hated each other for like these months of times and we wouldn't talk to each other and then we like reconciled our friendship and it was always just kind of iffy and there was just like weird stuff with friendships so I had some friend drama in high school, I, ugh, I hate I hated any kind of drama, any type of, when I, whenever I was fighting with anyone, it was all I could think about, it drove me crazy and I hated it. So try to avoid that as much as you can. Be friends with the people that are good to you and that bring you up, and people that you're fighting with all the time, people that bring you down, just try your best to get, you know, away from them or be cordial with them or something like that, you know. You know what I'm trying to say. Sophomore year in general, I feel like was pretty good for me. I feel like it might have even been better than freshman year. I don't know. I feel like freshman and sophomore year were very good for me. I really liked them. Very good for me. Very good to me, I guess. Either could it work in that situation. Also, I mentioned to you guys that I had my first job freshman year. I actually got fired from that job after a year. So this happened my sophomore year of high school. I honestly don't remember exactly what it was. It was kind of, I think, just like... I missed a call, an important, like something happened, there was like a mix up, and it really, I was really upset for like a day, and then the next day I was like, okay, I need to get another job. So I remember this so distinctly. I got fired and I was like, crap, I need another job. Within three weeks, I had another job. I worked at Old Navy. I worked there for, I think about a year as well. It was my first retail job. I did like everything, cash register, floor, dressing rooms, all of that stuff. I feel like it was a decent job. I liked my co-workers there. It wasn't that hard of a job to get. Uh, I feel like they hire a lot of people. So if you need a job, Old Navy, hit them up. All right, so that's kind of my first half of high school. I have no idea how long this video is getting, but hopefully you guys are still watching and enjoying. So before I get into junior and senior year, I kind of wanted to talk about some other aspects of high school that aren't so school focused in my personal opinions on them. Obviously at high school, a lot of things come up you learn so much about yourself you grow so much you try so many new things it's a lot of self-discovery it's a lot of confusion but it's also a lot of fun trying to figure everything out I don't know I look back on my high school experience and I think that overall it was good I'm not like oh my gosh high school is the best experience of my life like I want to go back right now but I'm not like wow high school sucked like I never want to go back I'm a little bit <laughs> I'm a little bit leaning more towards that side but overall like when I was in high school like I was happy what I'm kind of trying to say is in high school there is pressures and there is new things that come up and there's things that happen that freshman year you and your friends talked about and you and your friends were like I'm never gonna do that I literally can't believe like blah 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 is doing that like I would never do that and people might change. Actually, people are going to change. You're going to change. And you just kind of have to accept that fact. Like, you're not going to be the same person you were freshman year, senior year. You're going to change. You're going to grow. You're going to try new things. And that's all fine. It's a complete part of growing up. You have to allow yourself to make mistakes. You have to allow yourself to learn from your mistakes. Maybe like get in trouble, get grounded with your parents, all that kind of stuff. It happens to pretty much everyone in high school because you're just experimenting, you're trying new things. I don't know how to phrase it other than like the words peer pressure. I, I, I really kind of like hate that phrase, but I don't know really what else to say. But just stay true to you. Stay true to what you want to do. Stay true to your morals. It's not just peer pressure with like drinking and drugs and like sex and all that stuff. Like I guess those are the biggest things, but there can be peer pressure with a lot of different things. I think you just need to decide for yourself like what you're going to do, what you're not going to do. I would say don't do things because your friends are doing them and because other people are doing them. And don't do things because you think it's going to make you cool because that can really backfire on you. Don't get caught up in any like, oh, I just I want to be like cool. I want to do what these other girls are doing because then I'll be cool. Just stay, do what you want to do and stay true to yourself and that's the biggest thing. I don't know how to phrase it because I don't, I want you guys to be completely in charge of your own lives. Like I was in charge of my own life. So just decide for yourself what are your limits, what you're going to do, what you're not going to do and stay true to those. But realize also that they might change as you get older and that other people might change. And don't go, I wouldn't say don't go like defriending people if you know they're like doing things that you wouldn't do. I would just say to keep your morals and focus on you and not necessarily so much on what other people are doing because that doesn't really affect you. Unless it is affecting you, then, you know, maybe change some things. But I think you guys get what I'm trying to say. Okay, junior year. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I hated junior year. I couldn't wait for it to be over. Junior year was so hard for me. I was in a ton of hard classes. It was 
my only year that I took an AP class, but I took all, besides that, all advanced courses, and I don't know why. I don't know why I did that to myself. I was also, this was when I was also working at Old Navy, doing cheerleading, doing dance, and being like an advanced student school, plus junior is the time that you're applying, I think. No, not applying to colleges, but you're researching colleges, taking the SAT and the ACT for the first time, the end of soft, uh, junior year. So junior year was a very stressful year for me, I'm not gonna lie. So I would say, if you're gonna be a junior, take on what you can manage. You know, maybe try, maybe try this hard course load at the beginning of the year, see how it's gonna be. If I could go back, I would not have taken my AP class. I didn't pass the, I got a two on the exam. I didn't get credit for the class, so there was literally no point in me taking it. I am, I'm still not over that. I got like a four on the practice AP exam, and then I got a two on the real AP exam. I was so upset about that, so upset, I can't even tell you, I'm still not over it, obviously, as you can tell, but anyway, all I really remember about junior is being stressed to the max, doing so much work, but at the same time, I feel like it kind of went by fast, that's just personally how I feel, but at the same time, like, I wouldn't be like, oh, junior year was such a terrible, terrible time in my life, it was just a lot of work and a lot of stress, that's when you start thinking about colleges and the SAT and the ACT and all that, and it's kind of a lot of school stuff that year, I would say, but uh, you'll get through it, and then it was so worth it to get through it because my senior year was my favorite year of high school so far, It by far. My senior year was absolutely amazing to me. I would go home halfway through the end of the day, every single day. Um, I think I only went to school for like two or three hours a day. It was actually the greatest thing ever. But I got to do that because I worked my butt off freshman, sophomore, and junior year, and I took a bunch of hard classes that allowed me to not have to take that many classes. I got to do the work program for YouTube. If your school has anything like this, an internship, a work program, something that allows you to leave early, I would recommend so much looking into that. Or just if your school allows you to do something that you get to actually choose, you, get, you want to take this class, <laughs> those are the classes that you need to look out for because so much of high school I hated because it was all just like, I didn't choose this. Actually, most of high school, it's like you're forced to take these classes that you hate. So it was the coolest thing in the world because I could go home and film YouTube videos and do my job. So find out if your school has any type of a work program. My senior year was so awesome to me. So definitely try to have a good senior year, I guess I would say. I don't know. I feel like you shouldn't stress yourself out your senior year. You deserve to have like a good, awesome year with your friends. I remember most about senior year just making so many memories with my friends, whether it was just like going to football and basketball games or going on trips. Like spring break was the biggest thing in my school ever. Like everyone's year revolved around spring break and junior year and senior year. It was so amazing. We all went to Florida and just like it was it was so awesome. And my school just I feel like your school just has traditions and pep rallies and all that kind of stuff. My school we made junior and senior shirts and we would wear them at the pep rallies and like on Fridays and it was it was so fun. I don't know. I just really liked those parts of high school and everything like that. So just take advantage of what you can in high school because seriously I know like right now if you're in high school you're like I can't wait to get out of high school. These memories, you're going to miss some parts of it. Like obviously some things you're gonna be so glad are over, but you're gonna miss some parts of it and you're gonna miss some people like I live all the way across the country I don't see like any of those people anymore make the most of the time you have with these people because 95% of them probably you're not like going to see ever again after high school and that's really sad I mean obviously you can see the people that you want to see but make the most of the time you have with these people some last like tips that I have for you guys is the biggest thing overall. I, I used to be, when I was younger, like in middle school, I used to be very judgmental. I was very opinionated. I was very judgmental, I feel, and I went through a time where I feel like I completely changed that and I decided I'm not going to be judgmental anymore. I'm going to accept people for who they are. I kind of have a thing that this is kind of like the motto that I live by in my life. If somebody's doing something that you don't necessarily agree with, but it's not harming you, it's not affecting your life, like don't worry about it, you know what I mean? Like, you can be that person that talks crap about people all the time and is like, I can't believe blah 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 is doing this, I can't believe blah 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 is wearing that, I can't believe blah blah blah, like, just talking about people, or you can just accept that that's what they're doing with their life, this is your life, and you can do what you want with your life, and you don't need to be concerned with that person's life. So, I think that's the thing that helped me so much in high school with just, you know, people changing, myself changing, new things happening, you just need to not be judgmental of other people and let people learn, let people experience things, and let yourself experience things as well. This is like the cheesiest thing ever, but be 
yourself. Seriously, don't get caught up in like, I want to be this girl, this girl is everything, goals, literally all goals. This girl, oh, you can't even see my hand. Goals, literally all goals. This person, you know, I don't know. I feel like today there's just so much. Just like, be you, do what you want, don't do what you want. Do, wait, what am I saying? Do what you want, don't do what you don't want. And let yourself live your life how you want. Don't conform to meet other people's standards. Like seriously be yourself be because that's going to bring you the most happiness if you're being yourself and you're doing things that are making you happy because you like them then you're going to be happy if you're living this like fake life or you're trying to do other things that other people are doing because you're trying to be cool or you're trying to be in with a certain crowd or i don't even know it's not going to make you happy so try different things but at the same time do the things that you like and do the things that make you happy no matter if other people are doing them or not I hope that makes sense. Alright guys, this is probably the longest video ever, so I really hope you enjoyed it. Give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it and if you appreciate it because I just kind of spilled my life out to you guys and it felt really good to do. If you guys need any advice, seriously, like tweet me any questions that you have, anything like that. Leave comments on this video. I'll try to get back to as many as I can if you have dying questions, but I really hope this was helpful to you guys. I absolutely love you and the biggest thing I'm going to leave you with in this video is just do you, be happy, and make the most of your time in high school because, as I said, you're not going to see so many of these people like ever again. I know it's sad, so make the most of the time that you have because you only have one high school experience. Mine's over. Yours is probably going on, so make the most of it. Before I leave this video, I wanted to know what other, I'm probably going to do one to two other back to school videos I'm going to really try for this year, so let me know what you guys want to see besides the back to school clothing haul, because I'm not going to do that. I'm doing another haul, but it's not going to be a back to school haul, so let me know what you want to see for those, and I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye!